It's your mama, D and D on my phone. What you call it? Blow it all, get it back by the morning. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Chillwell, and I'm back with another video, man. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we got something a little different for y'all today. Today's video, I'm gonna be giving my guys out there five tips on how to become more attractive, more confident, and overall just glow up. You know what I'm saying? Summer is right around the corner. I know everybody wanna be walking around feeling good about themselves and looking better. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, if y'all stick around to the end of this video, these five tips will help y'all out because I know they help me out a lot. So with saying that, before we get into the video, man, make sure to leave a like on this video. Comment if this helped y'all out a lot. And if y'all like these types of videos, you know, let me know. I'll make more of them. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell because we are on the road to 5K. And I'm trying to hit 10K before August so I go back to school. So y'all keep running that up. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well, which will be in the link tree in the description as always and in the corner of the screen. And let's get into the video. Let's go. All right, y'all. So like I said, I'm going to be giving my guys out there five tips on how to become more confident in yourself, uh, become more attractive, and overall just have a glow up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to get better over time, but these five tips specifically will help you reach the top level really, really fast. These five tips help me out a lot. So uh, with saying that, man, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So for the first tip I got for y'all today is keep good hygiene, man. I can't tell y'all enough how many guys out there I see that don't got good hygiene, you know what I'm saying? And they be they be with these girls and then, nev and then the girls never want them like after like a month or whatever. And I'm telling you, if you had good hygiene, they might want to uh, stay with you longer. And it be guys out there that got game, I see, but they be bums. And I'm like, bro, how you got to choose one? They be the guys that don't got good hygiene, that got the game, and the guys with the game that have terrible hygiene. Like, it, it, it don't work, you know what I'm saying? So you got to have good hygiene. You know, keep your fingernails clipped. Like I said, you know, keep your fingernails clipped. Girls like when you have clean nails. Nobody want no dirt under your nails, you know what I'm saying? Um, make sure you put some deodorant on, man. Stay moisturized. It's crazy because, like, these tips are for more than people that's just in college. These are for all my guys up there. You can start as young as elementary school and move all the way up to being a grown man, you know what I'm saying? And especially in high school, I know y'all know that one guy that's always musty. Like, you need to make sure you put some deodorant on. You don't want to be that guy. So wear deodorant. It's crazy that I have to tell y'all things like this, but it's really people out there that don't wear deodorant. Like, and like, I know everybody's not rich, but you don't need a lot of money to go get you a dollar or $2 stick of deodorant from the dollar store, you know what I'm saying? And another part of hygiene is like lotion. Put some lotion on, man. You be having these ashy elbows and knees, like, bro, you playing tic-tac-toe on your arm. Like, that's crazy. Girls don't want that. Brush your teeth. Like just, oh my God, it's just so many things I can get into with the hygiene thing, but y'all should get the gist of it. You know what I'm saying? Keep your hygiene up to date. You know what I'm saying? So that is the first tip. And with saying, with saying that, the second tip has to do with this as well. For the second tip, man, make sure y'all learn how to cut your hair or just keep a fresh cut, one or the other. The reason I say that is because, you know, every guy knows when you get that fresh cut, you feel way better about yourself. You feel confident. You feel like you can take any girl you want like nobody can tell you nothing when you have a fresh cut and um i say learn how to cut your hair too because like i said the cuts do make you feel more confident but not everyone got the money to get a cut all the time or and or even if you have the money some of y'all might be like young watching this video don't got a car or none of that and can't go get a cut all the time you know what i'm saying so learn how to cut your hair just or at least shape up your face you know what i'm saying like these for the guys i'm talking about with beards and stuff like that this is for like, like i said little kids and all the way up to college and above, you know what I'm saying? Learning just how to give yourself a shape of a lineup, whatever, because like, bro, just little things like that can make you look more attractive, make you look more confident and just glow up, you know what I'm saying? Like days where you can't get a haircut, if you know how to line yourself up, just give yourself a smooth, quick little lineup, you know what I'm saying? Line up your facial hair, it just makes your, your appearance look better, you know? You don't look as crusty and dusty, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. That's another tip for y'all right there. That's something real simple. It's common sense, man. Learn how to cut your hair. It's just, it helps you out a lot. For the third tip, man, make sure y'all collect or just buy a few pairs of cologne or bottles of cologne, you know what I'm saying? Smell good. That's really the tip. Try to smell good, make yourself smell good at all times, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know a lot of people out there that love to collect cologne. So if you want to be a person that collect a bottle, like a bunch of bottles of cologne, y'all can do that as well. But some people don't have the money for cologne. Cologne is a little bit more on the expensive side, depending on the types you're trying to get. But in my opinion, make sure you have at least two to three good bottles of cologne in your collection. And you're good to go. Like me, I personally got two pairs of cologne right now. And that's because I put lotion on all the time, deodorant on all the time. I'm always smelling good. So I don't need all these different fragrances. I get the fragrances I like. 
and stick with those. In my opinion, y'all need to go out and get you a good cologne to wear on like a date night type of uh, day, dinner, anything like more important, fancy, dressing up type. Get a cologne specifically for that occasion. And then you need to get a cologne that's like an everyday cologne that smells really good that you can spray on no matter what fit you got. And you can have a white tee with some shorts or you can just have a graphic tee with some jeans, you know what I'm saying? Have a cologne that you can throw on every day going to class that you smell real good that the girls know. Like when you walk in the room, they don't even gotta be looking at you. They know it's like, oh yeah, that's Will walking in there. He's smelling good, you know what I'm saying? So like, they're not too expensive. Some uh, quick examples, you know, I use uh, Dylan Blue by Versace. That's like $100 a bottle. Not too expensive. There's some colognes out there that cost way more. But that's not too expensive. That's a good date night dinner type of cologne. And then I rock a Nautica. I forgot the name of it, but it's by Nautica. That's just my everyday cologne. It's like more of an active knife, nice smooth smell. It smell really good. The girls love it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's a really important thing as well. Make sure you smell really, really good. Um, yeah. Moving on to the fourth tip, man. This is my biggest. Like this is my favorite tip out of them all. Like hygiene is up there too. Hygiene and this one is tied. Make sure you hit the gym, bro. Especially for my shorter guys like me out there. As y'all know, I am 5'6". Nowadays, a lot of girls be wanting to date taller guys. They don't ever have a reason why. Because a lot of girls are short. They don't have a reason why. But that's not the point. A lot of girls out there, you know, they want taller guys for some reason. Right, that's the new trend or whatever. So for my shorter guys, y'all got to find a way to make up. To, to make up for not being tall. So hit the gym, bro. Get muscular. I'm not saying y'all got to go out there and get bodybuilders tall. Huge. But like, bro. No girl wants no, you're already short. No girl's gonna want no pip squeak short guy that weighs 120 pounds that like if a if a big tall dude come mess with mess with her and mess with you, you can't defend her, you know what I'm saying? So at least hit the gym, get strong, you know, get muscular. I'm telling you, it builds your confidence because if you know you out here, big biceps, chest poking out, looking all good, walking down the street, you don't care if a 6'5 dude is talking to a girl that you want. If you feeling all swole and stuff, man, you gonna walk up to her and say, what's good, shorty? Like, try to talk to her, you know what I'm saying? And you gonna be way more muscular than him. You ain't gotta worry about none of it. Especially with these tall guys, like I said, they real tall, they be skinny. So, you know, for my short guy, this is for everybody too. If you're taller when they hit the gym too, that's what, bro, just hitting the gym in general is really helpful, but I'm speaking to my short guys out there, you know what I'm saying? Hit the gym, I promise you, your confidence level will go through the roof. All right, y'all, for the fifth and final tip, man, everybody should notice, save your money. This is a problem I've had for a long time. I'm just, I'm 22 now, and I'm just now getting pretty good at saving my money. But like, if I were to save my money from at least like junior year of high school right now, Man, I probably have my own. I got my own car, but I probably have my own place. I probably be going on trips every weekend because I would have the money to do so. But right now, I don't. So saving your money just helps you feel. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't even talk. The reason why I'm saying save your money, I got off track. But save your money because it can help you glow up in this way. If you got money in your account, right? You know what I'm saying. You just feel more confident. And like I said, when I say this, I want you to really hear me. All right, y'all. So if, for example, you want to take out a girl on a date or you wanna to talk to a girl, you know what I'm saying, that you really, really like. But you ain't got no money in your account. Not saying you gotta buy this girl everything, not saying this and that, but as a guy, in my opinion, you know, if I mess with a girl and I like her, and you know, I'm gonna ask her out, I'm gonna take her out on a date. That's how you get a girl's attention. I'm not saying buy her this and that, but you know, take her out on a date. Like it's the first day, you trying to get her interested in you. That's what you gotta do, you know, say what's up. But if you ain't got no money in your account, man, you're gonna be sitting there looking dumb. So this, uh, this helps you glow up because if you got money in your account, you save your money up and you got money in your account to just walk around knowing that, look, I got son of da 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 in my account. So like if I wanted to talk to any girl, I can literally go up to her and be like, girl, you look good, whatever. Let me get your number. I'll pick you up at whatever time this day and take her out on a date. You can just do that because you got the money in your account. You know, what I'm saying? You, you hear what I'm trying to say? So that's what I'm that's what I mean by, you know, saving your money. Obviously, you want to save your money for other things too, just for yourself, for your car, if you have a car, food, stuff, stuff that you need. Just having money on you helps a lot because you know money runs the world. You need money to do everything. So saving your money just helps in general. But I'm talking about with the confidence and the glow up. You know, girls like guys with money. Not all girls are gold diggers, but still, even if the be the best girls out there that aren't even gold diggers that are loyal, all that, still want their man to have a little money on them. So if you got money. You know, you know the girls will want you more. You'll feel more confident. So, uh, yeah, that was the fifth and final tip, man. This video is getting kind of long, but I'm trying to explain everything to y'all. I really hope y'all stuck around to the end to watch this. I'm telling you, this video can help y'all out a lot. If y'all follow them five steps, not in any order, just do them all at the same time. You know, you can do them steps every single day and get better. I promise you, you will glow up. This will be the start to one of the best summers ever for you, you know, if you follow these steps. So, yeah. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, make sure to leave a like on this video. 
comment if you enjoyed it and y'all want more like a part two to this to give y'all another five tips to help you blow up or five tips on anything else just let me know what y'all want to know down below because i can help y'all a lot most importantly subscribe to the channel ring the notification bell because we are on the road to 5k and we're trying to hit 10k before august so let's do that keep running it up like i said my instagram and tiktok was on the screen the entire time in this corner and in the link tree in the description so go follow me on there really hope y'all enjoyed it i'll catch you on the next one